How's it going guys and welcome to today's video. You know, since I got my drone and I started posting more aerial shots of the ranch here, one of the questions that I get asked probably the most is what are all these ridges that are out of my pasture? That's what we're gonna be talking about today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Some of you remember from the earlier irrigation video what these ridges are for, and some of you I've just explained it to in the comments, and what they're for is for directing irrigation water. Now, when I say that, it makes perfect sense to me because I know how they work, but to someone that's never seen a flood irrigation setup, that might be a little bit confusing. So I decided now that I have a little bit better filming equipment, I would give you guys a much better perception of how flood irrigation with these levees is done. Now, what a lot of people have referred to as ridges, I call a levee. And these levees are spaced out about 40 feet. In between the levees is the area that I call a check. So you've got your ridge, which is a levee. The flat space in between the levee is a check. Just to get some of the terminology out of the way. So as I explain further, hopefully things make a little bit more sense. This is the valve that's in the middle of each check. The valves go all the way along what is known as the top of the field in between each check. And when the valves are open, obviously, water comes out. Now, it's impossible to see with the naked eye, but this field is actually gently sloped towards the west. So when the water comes out of the valve, it's going to naturally want to flow this way. So irrigating this pasture is just as easy as opening all these valves, turning on the pump, and letting the water flood all the way down to the other end of the field. So how's that? Clear as mud? Rather than me try to explain it to you guys, why don't I just show you how it works? So as we run out of daylight out here yet again, I just want to recap really quick what I just did here. So after opening all these valves, I was able to go back and turn the pump on and as you can see, the water starts flowing. So the only thing that's really left for me to do now is to just kind of wait and let this water get to the other end of the field. For this pasture, it takes about 24 hours. So after that much time has passed, I'll come back out here with the drone and we'll fly over the field again. And you guys will get a good idea of what kind of water coverage we get out here. And hopefully it'll make a lot more sense what all these ridges are for. here in the pasture roughly 24 hours has gone by and this water has almost reached the end of the field a few of these checks are done I'll turn this camera around and show you guys but I don't know because you're gonna be looking right into the Sun it's probably not gonna look that great so probably the best way to show you what's going on out here is by flying with the drone if you can see under the blinding Sun you should be able to more or less see how the water has traveled down these checks but of course we're going to be able to see much better with the drone so what i do when i get out here is i'll either drive down to the end of these checks to see how far the water is or if i have my drone with me and i'm going to be flying it anyway i'll just fly down to the end and i can see actually i can see a little bit better uh, how far the water is and then i'll know which checks to shut off and which ones need to go a little bit further
from that little flight, I can see that uh, the number five check is, looks like it's the only one that really needs to keep going. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is open it up all the way, close off the rest of these. And I'm thinking that one going full bore, it probably only needs a couple more hours. One other quick thing that I sh thought I would show you guys is the way that I irrigate this little field that's behind this pasture that I've been working on overnight. I've got these little dams here. And what I can do is pick this dam up, put it on the other side of this valve, and then all that water will be diverted out into the little field. As you can see, plenty of water has been leaking past that dam already, and this is almost done, but I like to make sure that I get a good soak out here because they only get 24 hours, so I wanna make sure that grass is good and tall. Another little dam here on check number four, so I'm just going to do the same thing. Switch the dam to the other side of the valve, and all that water will go out into this little pasture. All the valves set where I need them to be. The only thing I have left to do is just to set the clock on the pump and that pump will shut off in a few hours when this field is all finished. I hope this video clears up some questions that I've been asked about how this irrigation setup works. I know this is sort of unique. You don't really see flood irrigated pasture in many parts of the country. So hopefully this answered any questions that you guys had. Thanks for hanging out in the field with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Mm -hmm.